remember that. Oh my god. <gasps> I can't believe it. It's um, I, I do believe it because I look in the mirror now. Where I told you before, like when I first came to you, I would get out of bed, I'd take about three steps to go into my bathroom and I have a dinner switch. I would actually dim it all the way down. So, you would so I wouldn't yourself. see myself in the mirror. Now I have it. You can't wait. Right. I can't wait to see myself. Oh my God, you did a beautiful job and thank, thank you, you for doing everything you did. You know what I'm saying? Even like my eyes look better, everything yeah, does. Yeah. But my neck is outstanding. Yeah. Outstanding. I just love yeah. it totally. This is the perfect example of how people still look natural after yes. getting face surgery and, and you just look younger and refreshed. That's really it. Absolutely. That's the goal of the operation. Oh yeah, I couldn't be more happier. But I, I was telling the girls, you know, so many people, you know, asked about you and, you know, they were like, oh my God, your neck is unbelievable. And then like a couple of people, like my sister that probably came up with something like this, she's like, oh my God, I see all these wrinkles now, what can I do? And I'm like, go see, you know, go see somebody. Even if you can't afford the surgery, at least see somebody and get maybe hyaluronic acid or whatever you have to get, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, uh, uh, I am so happy. Thank you. Thank you so much. I knew for about two years that I definitely wanted to have something done. And uh, one of my girlfriends um, did, you know, like um, get a facelift. I did go with her too. And she used the doctor, you know, somewhere in this area too. But um, I guess I wasn't ready then. So I went back to a doctor in New York that did my upper eyelids. And when I talked to him about doing it, it just didn't feel right. Then I saw another doctor down here, a woman doctor, and I just didn't feel right. So I, then I went to see Dr. You know, Garcia, and I just felt right about everything, about him. I love the way he shows all the photos before and after, where all the other doctors don't display it like he does. He displays everything, and that was one of the reasons why I'm like, look at this, I don't even have to ask. So, you know, when I met with him, I was so comfortable with him. And he just reassured me it would make a big difference, and uh, I'm just thrilled. I did, but I really didn't go back to like uh, two of the friends that have taken me to the doctors and back. You know, they told me they couldn't believe the difference right off the bat. But that's about the only people that I really saw. I didn't go back to the gym for 10 weeks only because I didn't want to. I wanted to make sure that I felt comfortable and everything else because you really have to wrap your head around it too. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's a big thing. I got to face everybody. I told everybody was having it done. Everybody's going to be staring at me and stuff like that. I wasn't ready for that. I took my time and then when I went back to the gym, everybody was like amazed. They just couldn't believe it. And I'm just so satisfied. The staff is amazing. I first met with Allie and you know what I'm saying? She just made me feel so comfortable. I know everybody's name, which is unusual. I forget names, but I know, you know what I'm saying? Rosie, I know her, you know, I just know everybody. Everybody's so accommodating. And even like with this appointment, I had to change my appointment to make it a little bit later. And Allie was just so great. Never made me feel like, you know, had to be here. No, we'll change it for you. Everybody's been like that. An amazing, amazing staff. Amazing, and I'm not just saying that, I mean it, I'm totally amazing.